Just right. Good Goodbye. elevation. Did you hit it? I think he just did. You yeah. freaking can't. <laughs> Watch did he it. hit it? He hit it or was he running left? I think it was right. He was either right under he it or He was right it. on it. I don't know if he just went underneath it. I think he hit it. just under it. Do it again. Oh. <laughs> Whatever you did, do the same thing, but just hold well, higher. That thing we're just under not. it, so come up like half a jug. shooting a little tiny bullet a really long way so sometimes you're gonna have flyers so I'd probably stick with what you were doing and see if it does it again oh see that? so that's consistent okay so you need to come up did you see it yeah so you need to come up about three quarters to a jug and hold a little more wind probably about the same thing wind wise about a jug of wind but you got to feel that wind. Once again, little tiny bullet. Make sure your bubble's spot on. You need a good squeeze. See that? Yeah. Elevation much better. Windage still got to come over to the right about a jug. Wind's kind of died now, so that hold might have worked if you shot right in a second. Oh, oh you got it. You had yep. to got it. I saw it. We saw it. It looks so like it's draining. draining. Yep, you oh, got it. Exploded. I can you. see it. Yeah. Woo! Nicely done. Woo! Round of the pros for a fine gentleman. He's finding the drinks tonight. <laughs> that is 1,000 yards with a 223 AR 15. And you didn't even want to do it. Nope. <laughs> I want to shoot the Lapua, he says. I don't like ARs, he says. That's true. <laughs> I got to tell you something, man. When you go back home and you start saying, oh, yeah, I shot a milk jug at 1,000 yards with an AR-15, a 223, no one, I mean no one is going to believe you. <laughs> that doesn't happen. Evidence. What's that? Minus the video evidence. Minus the video evidence. That's why we always have the camera running, right? <laughs> awesome. We well done. I still get to shoot the Lapua, right? Of course you do. <laughs> You're welcome to sit down and shoot it right now. Just take that suppressor off there. Okay. Boom! Oh! 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 Look into it! <laughs> I saw a cloud of something. <laughs> That's 750 grains of pure goodness right there. That was awesome. So what do you think? That's a big good. That it is. Big round. And you didn't even use your second one. Woo! Cost effective. I like it. I like yeah. it. So he did it in one. You did it in two, right? That's right. He beat me. <laughs> Thank you. That happens. That cool. That's what you got to do. It's called being a good host. <laughs> you know, that, that extra time with doing that made all the difference. I wouldn't have hit it the first time. Yeah. Just relaxing, getting in on it. The, the confidence on that field, all the difference in the world. You ever shot a 50 before? Yeah. That is so cool. Nice. Awesome. So um, today we kind of had a, a unique milk jug challenge. Uh, we had to improvise a little bit on a couple things, but uh, so uh, myself and Duff both have children with a very rare disease called Prader-Willi syndrome. Uh, 
in a nutshell, it's kind of like Down syndrome a little bit, a little bit diminished IQ and some other things. And more than anything, these kids uh, have no sensation of being full or hungry. Yep. So left unattended, they will eat, 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 eat themselves to death, really. So we lock up all of our food at our house, and uh, we deal with a lot of temper tantrums, a lot of fun stuff. No so guns, a, just locks. Yeah, so there's a really amazing organization here in Utah called the Utah Prada Willie Syndrome Association. And every year we all kind of donate things to it to a silent auction. And Duff uh, purchased the long-range shooting experience that I donated Thank you. and brought out his two sons. Um, their other son, who's in between these two guys, uh, has Prada Willie Syndrome as well. And then my daughter, Willow, who's six, has Prada Willie Syndrome. Um, so kind of a special uh, fun day to be out here together, uh, kind of sharing that uh, unique thing about our lives and then being out here shooting things at the range. So um, I guess, uh, how was it? Awesome day. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> it was fantastic. Great. So we started out with 22s. We got the uh, 22 shooting out to 100 and a little bit further. I think we hit the one target like 235 or something with the 22 and a yeah. real nasty wind. So those were a lot of fun. And then we got the AR. We shot it out to a grand. In fact, uh, Samuel here hit the milk jug. I see he really wanted to shoot the 6.5. <laughs> he liked that word Lapua on the end of it. And uh, I said, you got you got to try the, the 2.2.3. And uh, he did and got it on shot three. Three. So he even beat me. So that's a, a 2.2.3 <laughs> AR-15. It's an 18-inch SPR special purpose rifle with an SWFA 3-15 to shooting 77 grain burgers and connected with the jug on the third shot at 1,000 yards absolutely phenomenal that's like the new record with that rifle i think it's probably the new 223 record so congratulations well done <laughs> so there's that for you and then let's talk about duff so oh, we can end uh, with me okay well oh. let's go with, let's go with jonathan then so jonathan's shooting my 6.5 x 47 lapua he's uh it's a tika action brooks barrel krg chassis night force atac rf1 thank you night force for that we love it um and we've got a crux suppressor on the end of it evolution bipod and uh, we're shooting the 140 grain burgers, hybrids. Yep. Um, so you connected on your fifth. Fifth. fifth shot on the milk jug. Yep. And you were the first one to go, right? Clear. Yes. All right, so he kind of took the, the cold bore and the whole bit and made it happen. So congratulations, man, that's phenomenal. Yep. Thank you much. And then there comes Duff. So Duff did it with the 6.5, thought he'd hit, uh, but then went down there, checked the jug, didn't yeah. hit. So he said, you know what? We got to make sure we see it hit. So, what better way to do that than with the 50 cal? There we go. So we brought out the uh, the SRS here, the HTI, sorry, uh, from Desert Tech. So we're shooting a 750 grain Hornady Amax. Uh, it's hitting down there at a thousand yards with about 6,500 foot pounds of energy. So uh, quite the round. Hit it on your first shot. First shot. <laughs> first Number shot. One. So the owner of the rifle took a shot just to make sure everything is kosher. And he took a couple dry fires and then drilled that sucker first shot a thousand yards with a 50 cal. Yeah. And there was no doubt that he hit it. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> so uh, nope. congratulations, guys. I don't know. Anything you guys want to say? I kind of. Awesome. Thanks. You made a great day. Awesome. Yeah, it's great and happy um, to be out here shooting for because of Prodder Willie Syndrome Association. It was a nice. Nice gift from you to them. Yeah, we'll do this every year. Awesome. So we've got another one. So next year you'll see a, another group out. So far we've had all parents that have had a, a child that's got the syndrome that have come out and shot. And hopefully this year we'll get a much more people interested and donate yep. to this great, uh, great cause. So anyway, well, we thanks will. guys. Congratulations. Thank Phenomenal you. job. It's great. Absolutely amazing. Hope you had a great day.
So here we are at SHOT Show 2016. Got Todd McGee from Dead Air Armament. Hi, I'm Kelly McMillan here. We're gonna give it a shot right now. 